What's up guys, McDouble's back here with a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna go back to something that, well, we've never truly done before, but something that came out at the very beginning of Malganus, something that's been highly popularized with the beginning of TBC, and that, my friends, is the Caster Tank. Mana Forged Barrier, Arcane Explosion, the whole nine yards, my own version, all the way to 70, and we'll try it at 70 as well. I'm really excited to do this because I have been putting it off, saving it for a rainy day, and I do just want to give you a little bit of information before we fully start the video. Number one, I'll do the AMA in my next video that I do every, you know, three to four videos, so if you have any questions and you really want them to be seen, uh, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Number two, I'm going to be doing the giveaway at the end of this video, and I'll have even more giveaways, by the way, that we'll end up doing in a few videos from now so you could just expect a lot of giveaways guys for in-game you know ascension swag that i'm giving to you guys so uh once again leave another comment or just leave a comment with your in-game name in the comment section below and you'll have a chance of getting something in the next video number three as some of you guys may know we did a transmod contest on uh saturday i, I don't quite remember when it was i think it was saturday and uh we live streamed it dude it went really really well i had uh, a lot of people watching me play project ascension live at a time and <laughs> that just doesn't make Makes sense. I'm pretty impressed by it. I'd put money down to say that literally nobody has ever live streamed Ascension for more viewers, and uh, I wasn't even trying to do it like that. I don't know. This is an interesting thing to keep in mind. In terms of actually putting a video out for it, though, should be tomorrow. Uh, worst case scenario, the day after tomorrow. Reason being is apparently YouTube doesn't let you download your VODs in anything higher than 720p, which is nasty. So I have to go to like a you know a third party site, and it takes literally forever, and it. It's already messed up once and you guys can get where I'm going with this so the VOD I am actually gonna keep up for everybody just for a little bit it might still be up right now or it might not you'll have to go off and see but I'm gonna make a more palatable version of that for those of you that missed it since it was at such a weird time and like I said that should be out tomorrow or the day after it was really really fun we gave out 15,000 G and a freaking 50k minimum mount uh, the obsidian world destroyer which is pretty sick as well but anyway guys that's all I wanted to say hope you guys enjoy a really awesome tank caster video Let's get into it. Alright guys, sorry, I've been exhausted, man. I had the stream, and I know it was only three hours, but damn, I, I gotta give props to streamers that actually stay engaged the whole time, because if you have to talk the whole time and you can't really try to mess up as often, you know, it's just, it's a whole ordeal. And, and then Sunday is typically my day, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, Monday is the day that we're gonna be doing the tank caster character, and I've got a really interesting array of abilities for you guys. I don't think I'm gonna be doing 15 to 70, because it goes too fast, and I really wanna see just how this actually plays in a more normal way. We're gonna be going with Arcane Missile, Hand of Reckoning, Mana Forge Barrier, and the Moonfire with the Fell Armor, Mage Armor, Seal of Wisdom, and Water Shield all carded because I do want to go really, really hard into upkeeping my mana. I'd like to take no damage if that's humanly possible. Now, when it comes to my lucky cards, it's a little interesting. That's where you're going to get your Arcane Explosion. I'm really hoping and bucking on getting this early. Invocation, which we'll talk about later on alongside the Mana Forge Barrier. Devastate, I'll tell you why also later on. And Righteous Defense, because I had the Golden Card in a Weakened Seam. I don't think anybody even cares about this ability, but it's tank-based and so we can see, like I said. Okay, so what is Mana Forge Barrier to people who might not know, especially if you don't play Project Ascension, because it is a fully custom spell. Well, let me show it to you guys. Mana Forge Barrier says, you are enveloped in a mana fueled barrier, protecting you from damage. Depending on your mana percentage, the barrier absorbs up to 90% of the damage you take, draining one mana per point absorbed. The barrier also protects you against most effects that would interrupt you, and you do more threat, but you do 40% less damage and healing. It actually used to be higher than that, so it's been buffed in that regard as well. It does not work in PvP for people who are thinking, holy crap, the PvP potential is insane! Yeah, it would have been, but they thought about that. So, okay, first of all, we're seeing an, a catch-all ability for casters that want to tank and so basically I can use any spell at this point and I will basically be capable of tanking so we need to make it efficient I'm thinking I can spam arcane explosion I've got my moon fire I've got the arcane missiles for single targets and perhaps something else we'll talk about later in the video as well I've also set myself up with a vast array of epic enchants and legendary enchants that I want to use while leveling and I can use them as early as level 15 which is dungeon level which is perfect so this is what I got going on guys first of all we have impeccable timing 
timing. Your mastery of time gives you impeccable timing, increasing your chance to trigger Missile Barrage by 100%. This will be usable later on when Missile Barrage unlocks actually as a talent, so not quite level 15, but I do think, I've never seen this used before, but I do think this will be really, really good. We've also got Lunar Spirits. Your arcane missiles that is on a target affected by Moonfire will trigger a Moonfire on all nearby enemies within 10 yards, but reduces the damage of Moonfire by 90%, making it very niche. In addition, I have a 10% chance on a Moonfire tick to give me a buff to Arcane Explosion, which leaves a Lunar Spirit on the target, dealing even more damage and giving me even more threat. And lastly, but certainly not least, Arcane Displacement, which we fully really recognized in the Wacky Wizardry video last time, fully channeling Arcane Missiles, will actually allow you to teleport to your target and smack them for Arcane damage every 15 seconds. This is like a charge in many ways for me, especially pull to pull, and the idea is going to be that with impeccable timing, I'll always have a Missile Barrage going, so I'll have a super fast Arcane Missiles for my pulls, and I'll be able to TP it and just start the AoE, and I think that could be quite good. That's the idea. Now, as for my Legendary Enchant, I am going to go for the Eldritch Knight. Successful melee hits generate mana. Long term, I think as a result of this, I want to dual wield so that when I'm just auto attacking, I'll be getting mana. That's going to be really, really good. I don't think it's going to be good for, you know, pull to pull, but for a boss, should be quite good. So that's going to be the major plan right here. I've got my own XP aura, but like I said, not going to do a 15 to 70 group. We're going to go my own way, questing and dungeons along the way and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, I really hope I get Arcane Explosion, guys. Uh, it's so important to get Arcane Explosion early. I've got two prestigious caches I haven't even opened yet. We're about to get our third one and a uh, 65 500 marks in many ways this character and by the way we're playing on my intellect based character so very interesting as well but what is this really doing well i'm prepping myself for a future playthrough where i need all of the marks to really roll some crazy dps build that's the honest truth so this is a really good build to do it on it's going to be fast it's going to be super effective i think it's going to be super fun as well i'll see you guys at level 10 when i get my very first ability draft and we'll see what we can do 15 minutes later yo check that out level 11 didn't expect to go that high right just fury don't need that already got the mana forge barrier wrath and demon skin protect the caster increasing armor by 36 and increasing the amount of health generated through spells and effects by five percent would that ever be good in a world where i'm just shielding myself all the time and the armor kind of doesn't matter i don't think so it's a really unique build guys because i don't think i need any of the traditional tank stats no dodge i think no tanky stuff like uh, armor no parry nothing okay so I'm not even really healing myself. I'm just going to go with Wrath so that we don't have to actually waste a high rarity ability. Uncommon and rare in this case. Okay, bam. Let's keep uh, going. I have eight more Vile Familiars to slay. I will be around level 16, 17 after that. So then we can actually get into our first dungeon. Hopefully we get the Arcane Explosion. Otherwise, it could get a little messy. Yo, what? Level 12 Flame Tongue Weapon? This is giving me fire damage and spell damage, and the fire damage goes off my auto attacks, which I should be dual wielding anyway, meaning this is probably best in slot. I'm gonna go with it. I took off the Mana Forge Barrier real quick just to quest, because I'm not gonna die, and I do a lot more damage, and I can actually use the Wrath we just got to make this even faster. But guys, Flame Tongue Weapon is actually ridiculous. I think before we get into a dungeon, we definitely need to get some gear, and then as a result, we can grab those weapons, like I said, and really utilize the Flame Tongue Weapon to its fullest effect. Alright guys, Sarkoth turn in let's see what do we get tracking mastery pretty garbage regrowth okay maybe for questing dispel curse i like that what if nobody has one now i'll have it you know what just uh knock out that bird with that stone i'll take it curses are really really annoying sometimes i can think to myself if i get into sfk for example and there's that little ghost that keeps appearing stuff like that you know we can just get rid of it oh clap for me zaretha okay primitive walking stick turn that in level 17 off that okay let's see earthbind super slow lightning bolt no thank you though and dampen magic reducing my magic damage taken by three percent but i take three percent less healing as well it's a weird one because i should not be taking that much damage and i almost wonder if three percent less healing simply doesn't matter but at the same time when am i gonna take magic damage as well so i don't know seems a little wonky if somebody wants to put that on me they can i'm gonna go for lightning bolt it doesn't affect anything and it's just safer let's go to orgrimmar now get some gear and let's queue up we did not get the arcane explosion but we can still aoe tank with the lunar spirits okay guys i would random the worst possible dungeon and we're gonna just stay in here i guess so uh I think I pull with Moonfire since we don't have Arcane Explosion. Dude, these guys are one-shotting everything. It's like I got a group where they lost their tank from 15 to 70, and now they're just lucky enough to queue into me. So you can see right now I'm taking literally no damage, and I have no threat problems as well. And because I have a high-level healer, let's see if I can actually... Wait, okay, that's not quite making Lunar Spirits work. Let's make Lunar Spirits work. Oh, there's Lady Anacondra. Okay, can I make this work? Can I make this work? I want to AoE them. 
It's working! You can see all the moon fires. Let's just pull everything, if that's gonna be the case. Oh my god, the one shot. Level 20. I don't have that guy on me. I missed the moon fire. I'll take it, though. We don't have to keep going here. We can actually jump. Oh, drain soul! I wonder, if is Voidwalker still good with this spec? Might as well go for it. We could try Oh, no! Okay, you guys taught me how to do this. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. I could pick the normal card first, or the lucky card first, sorry. And I'm guaranteed water shield with my next draft. That's what I've been told. It seems super sus, though. Like, water shield, if I miss out on this because I was wrong, it's gonna be really depressing. But I'm gonna do it. Dude, these guys are going fast. That's what I was trying to avoid. Because I know, like, it's gonna be such big pulls, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. But you can see, like... <laughs> I have no issue just tanking away with Moonfire spam and just getting so much XP right now, too. So one of the things I went for were two Venom Web Fangs, which is so cool because they do poison damage, which might scale off SP. Uh, I like that also for the extra threat. Wait, can I actually Moonfire from here? No, it's not going to work. But I, I need to go ahead and pick something. Invocation! There we go! Boom. I didn't get my water shield there. I'm depressed. I think you guys lied to me. I think I was lied to, okay? Or I did it in the wrong order. One of the two. I'm just gonna keep pulling because they have Fox, right? They have Fox, so they're AoE. Okay, too big for my britches. This actually gives me a lot of time. You can almost say it was planned. Okay, invocation, guys. Channeling the spell empowers Mana Forge Barrier, removing the mana cost, so I'll take 90% reduced damage during the invocation. And uh, as a result of that, I also do damage that just goes to everybody. High threat magic damage is how they categorize it for three seconds, guys. So in other words, if I ever get into the situation you guys just saw me in again, I will survive. All right, let's see what we get, by the way. Where's my water shield? I'm so depressed right now. Like, I, I knew it. My brain's I said, don't do that, dude. I mean, just don't. Don't don't do this crap, garbage, fake strategy. It, there's no way. And I just missed out on a really quintessential spell. A Blessing of Wisdom is nice. That's more mana per five. I'll take that. Oh my god, there's the freaking thing that makes up for all of the pitfalls of this freaking horrible dungeon. Arcane Explosion itself. Lucky carded, my friends. Lucky carded. This is good, guys, because I really wanted to practice this. I really, really wanted to play this type of tank. It's so unique. It's a caster tank. Everybody wants caster tank to be real. It's just never possible in actual WoW. The closest you get, if I am correct, is... And this is invocation, by the way, taking no damage while these things are on me, and then boom, we can run. But, uh, yeah, I think the last time that you could play a caster tank in any kind of way, and it wasn't good, was actually... OG TBC, okay? OG TBC, I'm pretty sure that was the case. Oh god, auto attacking, auto attacking for mana. Oh, I gotta get that guy on me too. Moonfire, he's on me, nice, that's nice. I like that, one Moonfire and I have threat. I'm gonna gain a level so I don't really care about my mana right now. The mana problem is gonna get solved, but yeah, you do definitely not feel... 100% invincible while leveling, but that's that's fair. You know what I mean? That's completely fair. I need to get used to this. Invocation, I think, is my best friend. I don't think it gets better than Invocation for defensive cooldowns, and so getting it early when I didn't have a proper skill card, it's actually huge. It's actually really huge. Just auto attack. Let's get some mana. I, I know you want to pull more, dude, but wouldn't it have been better if you just fucked what I already had on me? Like, wouldn't it have been a little bit better? Uh, there's the invocation, though. We take no damage. We can move on now. I do think double daggers... Uh, and by the way, we do actually need to double flame tongue those daggers properly. But I do think double daggers is the way to go. You're going to be auto-attacking so fast. I think I literally just want the fastest spell power daggers I could possibly get. And then, like, whatever you could possibly manage for an offhand in that regard as well. All right, invocating. And everything's taking damage. And that's actually so huge. I really didn't remember that part. So that's actually really nice. I really need to reduce my ability to get interrupted. I think that's the first stuff I need to talent into after this dungeon. Okay, I just horned, but they're kind of being wonky with me right now. I'm talking about my allies randomly attacking them and not going for the yellow. Oh, and that guy running away as well. Guys, you're killing me. You're making me literally want to commit seppuku right now. Like, I, I just don't understand. See, what sucks is that when I'm the DPS that pulls, I at least think about which way my tank is going because that's, like, what a smart person would do. These guys are just pulling random crap. You can't learn much when people do this kind of stuff to you. You know, it's kind of a low-tier dungeon. But we're gonna keep going anyway. We gotta keep our head in the game because after this, we're gonna get a lot of talents and we're gonna get a hell of a lot stronger and uh, a whole different group. Thank God. And I think it's going to be a lot more fun. So we're invocating, not the one that you might think of like evocation for mana, but once again, the brand new one doing damage, giving me threat, reducing the damage I take. Uh, let's actually, oh no, I would go for that guy back there, but like, you know, they kind of brought it upon themselves. Let's just go for the arcane missiles after the moonfire. Dude, we're getting so lucky. Thank you, Ascension. Thank you, Ascension gods. Another dagger as well. And it's basically exactly what I'm going for. It has a chance on hit to do 35 shadow damage. All right, so after all the horribleness of playing with this group, uh... 
people are already bailing and doing weird stuff. I'm leaving. So there are some pretty interesting talents made for this spec that I can go into. First of all, Arcane Fortitude, the freaking talent all of us wanted to use whenever we did try to make this kind of stuff work before Mana Forge Barrier came out. Maybe I was the only one, I don't know. But I, I, I tried to make this work. Arcane Fortitude says, 150% of my intellect turns into armor. I don't know how good that is, but it is doubled with Mana Forge Barrier. So 300%, wow. Here's the thing I really want though, the capstone bonus. Your armor contribution from cloth gear is incredible increased by 30%, so I get even more. It's kind of like being in bear form now, but in a more weird way. It's an interesting thing to think about. By taking this, let's just uh, go ahead and compare. Currently, 1,149 armor, and without it, 750. Now, this is going to be compounded, guys, significantly as my gear gets better, so do keep that in mind. I have almost nothing on right now, and I'm still getting a pretty big boon with this talent, so I do want to take that. That's not it, though. I know there's something for Invocate in here. Let me just see if I can search for that specifically. There it is. Power Surge. When casting a damaging spell, melee attacks will trigger Power Surge, dealing arcane magic damage, I'm assuming, but it just says magic magic damage uh, oh of the school you're casting so for me yes arcane uh, to everybody this is shared between all nearby enemies and it restores 10% of my missing mana over four seconds Wow. So just to reiterate, guys, when I'm casting a spell, I'll get more mana back if I'm attacked while doing it. So we do need to uh, think about that. Arcane Missiles is basically the only thing I can do to utilize that right now. But the capstone bonus says all damage I take while channeling invocation is stored as mana. After the channel finishes, I gain that mana back. Wow. I could just pull massively invocate and then just be good. Uh, I really like that. Let's go for that. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Like what else would you possibly need for something like this? Anything that gives mana is probably the main way to go. One thing I definitely did say I wanted was a way to reduce my uh, chance of getting knockback. So I'm going to go for Arcane Stability. This reduces spell pushback by 100%. Gives me 3% more hit, which is great for a tank. Just get that out of the way. And reduces the mana cost of basically everything I use by 9%. All of which seem to be really, really good. I'm also going to go for Arcane Mine. That's 10% more intellect. So I do think intellect stacking is probably correct as well. 3% more damage, I guess. But that 10% intellect means way less damage taken. With just with that in mind, let's go ahead and just search for intellect. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually actually going to double down pretty hard on a lot of this stuff, I think, uh, just for now. So for example, mental strength, that's one I really wanted. I wanted this because it's 10% more intellect, but also 3% less magic damage taken. It just makes sense. There's my dungeon. Uh, okay. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. Uh, what else do I need? What else do I need? I guess we could just, you know, put, so we could change this, you know, later on, but I'm going to start going into anything that gives intellect. This puts me at 3k mana now with no gear. And that's not even it because I'm going to go ahead and use this face scale cloak. I just needed to reforge off the garbage that it had on it. And then uh, that's one extra stamina, which is nice and more SP. So we're off to a good start. Let's do it. Oh yes, the perfect dungeon. The literal perfect dungeon, guys. Why is it perfect? Because it's easy. I mean, that's the fact of the matter, right? Super duper easy. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and invocate here. Oh... Guys, this is it. I actually have a group that seemingly, besides this one guy who scares me, you know, they're twinked out, they've got the yellow weapons, like they, they probably want to go ahead of me, but maybe we'll be okay and we can have a pretty good run here. There we go, level 32. What do we get? Flash shield, detect traps, hand of protection. Not as good as you might think. I'm going to go for flash shield. I'm actually going to go, by the way, for a huge, huge pull. I know this is crazy. I know this is crazy, guys. Have some faith. Invocation. It's doing damage to everybody. I got the threat on that shaman back there. Oh, no. Yes, I knew we could do it. I knew we could do it, dude. Level 32, and I just did a freaking mega pull like it was nothing. Oh my god, imagine if we had the water shield. I actually have a lot of plans for it, so we're gonna end up doing probably some rerolls at max if we really need this. Like, if I can't do a regular mythic dungeon with this build, then I don't really see a point in putting the video out. But if I can, then I think we came up with something good. So we'll see if the water shield makes that big of a difference. Mage armor, we have 2% more reduced magic damage taken, and we get 35% of our mana when we cast back. So so that's really really good okay i want to pull everything with this dungeon because it's that easy and that's like the meta right now i told you guys about that with dead mines i've watched people take that same mindset into rfc quite often though there's the invocate and uh basically what that means is that you clear all the side rooms and side passageways as well because it's so easy you might as well get the extra xp but like if i could go back and change my 1 to 70 video i'd probably just include that in my general analysis just if you have an easy dungeon like this clear everything you can for the xp it's always worth it Oh, no, 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 I'm getting stunned. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. 
Healer's good. Healer's really good. I have seven seconds on the invocate. I'm just gonna go. Look at this. I just spam. This is what I wanted, guys. But I guess we could also go for this. Arcane, our uh, missile barrage, rather, will change everything. We'll get more moon fires off more consistently. I promise you that. Let's see. Victory rush, flash of light, whirlwind. Okay, another flash of light. Not really that good. I'm just gonna pull the boss and start going for other things. Okay, so this is interesting because I want everything to run towards me. Okay, I really want you guys to pay attention to what I'm doing. Boss is dead, but I'm not done. I am not done. Pull that guy too. Okay, and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pull these guys too. This is huge. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Am I too big for my britches again? Am I too big? I don't think so. All right, invocate. No! No! What the hell? The stun! No! Oh, my God. You've got to be joking. I got stunned on invocation. So sorry. Oh my god. What a joke, dude. As if it was- it just literally wasn't meant to be. What do we get? Tremor Totem, which is great. Conjure Water. Seal of Wisdom. That can't be bad. Let's go for it. Okay. More mana on hit with the Eldritch Knight combined with it. I really, really like that. I think that's big, guys. I really do. So, boom. We can put that on. I feel bad for my team because I think they felt like they were getting a really good run. And I didn't mean to botch it there. I don't remember these guys having a stun. Too much max level gear. That, or not max level anymore because we're not in uh, vanilla. But too much level 50 gear. I think we're good though. We pulled a lot. I'm going to go ahead and leave and uh, do another one. This is sick. Dude, I just got into a dead mines and these people obviously have beef with each other. The tank apparently left and I'm already scared, dude. I'm already scared. All right, we got everything we're supposed to be using, which is pretty good. I'm very strong right now, guys. I picked up some new gear, for example, shoulders and stuff like that. That. so yeah hopefully we can just uh really get through this dungeon quick dead mines i was really excited for but they already cleared all the best rooms okay let's do this i'm asking them by the way what happened to their last tank i always do this whenever i'm like anything dps whatever i'm like what happened you know i want to see if they're gonna give me the scoop oh they don't know mm, sus dude sus extremely sus i did get evasion that's actually an interesting pull i didn't show you guys that but yeah 50 percent dodge on a three minute cooldown could reduce that it saved me because I think my healer is AFK. Nothing. Nothing. Shackle undead. Healer is 50% AFK. Gotcha. So that's what happened. Gotcha. It all came out. But we already figured that out before you said it, friend. That was actually how sad it was. Okay, we just kicked the healer. Jesus Christ. I feel like a new manager coming into a place and just like trying to reform everything. Except for once, I feel like it's actually a good idea. I'm pretty strong right now. This is kind of what I was talking about earlier, guys. How like you can really carry hard with this build. We didn't have the arcane explosion to start, but now we're really going to pop off evasion evasion i think we can actually start going for even better things now uh, i still don't have a healer so i'm being kind of stupid but let's do this look at the moon fire extra damage on the explosion by the way after that okay we do need to relax because we don't have that healer right oh wait it looks like this guy's gonna heal me let's go all right so here's what i want to do i want to do this and i want to tp even if it's just a little bit to just show you guys boom i'm behind him now i'll take it pull these guys as well let's just invocate I love that Invocate does damage. Like, when I first read that ability, I was like, okay, it's nice, but I'm not doing anything while it's happening, so it feels weak. No, 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 no. It does damage. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, uh, take no damage and keep Arcane explosioning everybody around you in the process. Oh, yeah, I, I, that sounds good. I can do that. All right, can we get a, a massive Moonfire off? We can. All right, we're stunned. This is the really scary part, but it actually works so well. Look how little damage I take. My mana goes down, it goes back up. And I've taken a lot of things to make that happen, by the way. This is planned. I'll show you guys uh, my talents. They're really hosh posh right now. However, uh, the thing is, what I took, despite being kind of messy, still seems to work. Really good sign. Okay, let's just invocate the end of this boss. Wow, the stuns, dude. The stuns. Like, this is very anti-stun, this build. It does not like stuns, I mean. It's like, stuns are evil. Nice, I gained a level. Level 50, guys. Uh, ooh, inner fire. Could be good. I'm, I'm just gonna... No, it's a rare. I should be... I should be good. I'm not gonna do that. I am still running and spamming AoE. That's the name of the game right now, and I don't feel bad about it, dude. I'm just gonna evasion so I can keep this up. But this is where it gets dicey, guys. All right, invocation, dude. I might have ruined it. Oh, I might have ruined it. You would think that that guy that was going to heal me would actually just holy light me since I'm stronger anyway. Now, the best part about being level 50 is I could finally go into Missile Barrage. Now, the typical version of Missile Barrage says you have a 40% chance on Arcane Blast or Starfire, or a 20% chance on Barrage, Fireball, Frostbolt, Frost Firebolt, and Moonfire to uh, reduce the channeled time of Arcane Missiles by 2 seconds, reduce the mana cost by 100%, and make them fire stupid fast. This is massive, but it's even better because with impeccable timing, I can basically get off a free Missile Barrage and Anytime I want. 
well you know every 10 seconds according to the tooltip right at least that's how i see this right so it says biting time right now biting your time for the impeccable timing so it's actually i'm on a rotation i thought it would be like a buff that stays and then you use it and then you get biting time but no it actually just keeps going on like a literal timer i knew it would play out well man i knew it a little wonky in the beginning but like i said that's kind of meant to be in that regard this is fine there we go missile barrage here too they're not gonna heal me are they invocation there it is Big boy tar and see one heal, man. That's what could have happened the whole time. But really big props to this guy because nobody else wanted to play right. So uh, Gammon Bread deserves all your gold right now. This dude's good. He's not healing me now, but he ran out of mana. It's not his fault. Come on, guys. Come on. All right, guys, level 54. And we can do, I guess, Flame Strike. Okay, I'll take it. But I am totally going to bail. Let's see. Healing Wave, Totem of Wrath, Aim Shot, Healing Wave it is. All right, let's go. Dude, I wasn't going to show this. I got the 60 real quick in this other dungeon, and these guys are saying that Mana Forge Barrier is OPAF. <laughs> oh, man, you have to think to some degree it's because of the way I built it, you know? But it is kind of in general. Like, they nerfed it, but they also seemingly buffed it because you could do more damage in it now. It's all very interesting. I'm stunned, so evocation. Look at that. Like, if you play it right, it is so broken, it's not even funny. Like, I highly recommend you guys, if you haven't cast your mana tanks yet in Ascension, you gotta cast your mana tank. We played a frost tank that did something similar, but it was a weaker version of this one. It wasn't the real one, because we were going for something different, you know? Invocation? I actually consecrationed as well. It's really difficult to get that impeccable timing, like, if I'm honest with you. Like, we'll get better at it, but sometimes you just don't need it when it's up. I still like it, but it makes me think. Sunder Armor, it's not outside of the realm of possibility. I like Dragon's Breath, though. That's actually pretty decently usable for this spec. I'm gonna take it. Okay, what's this? Bell Armor, guys. This is fascinating. This says I heal myself for 4% of a spell I do, a direct damage spell. I'm gonna take that because it's just like really interesting, right? I don't even know what to say. We're getting through things that I didn't think a tank could get through. I mean, this is insane. Level 66, guys. I, you know, mana burn's funny, but I'm going to go Devouring Plague, I guess. I'm starting to master this very quickly, and I'm extremely impressed by the efficacy of the build. It's actually way stronger than I've ever even seen it played before so far. I, I just love this. I, as you can see, I am unbeatable. <laughs> I'm unbeatable, dude. I, I do have a good healer. I love this guy. Uh, but yeah, wow. Yeah, I'm already in TBC stuff, guys. I did some questing over in Hellfire Peninsula. I got myself to 65-ish. I was gonna do Ring of Blood, but I saw in chat that maybe it's bugged right now. So, well, we might still do it, but 70 is the real goal so that we can actually start doing some real stuff and see how this build works at max with my max level gear and maybe get some upgrades as well. But you can see, like, it plays exactly how I thought it would play. And I'm, I just, that doesn't really happen every time, you know what I mean? Sometimes you really have to put an extra effort to make a build work. You don't always get the theory craft right your first try. It's probably actually not normal at all to get it right your first try. So to be this close or to feel this close, knowing, by the way, knowing that my talents cannot possibly be efficient right now. So there's a lot of wiggle room. Yeah, that's insane. All right, that's just invocation. Like the whole point is that you don't want to, like anybody to be in the poison, I guess. But everybody on my team is actually a caster. So it's actually irrelevant. As long as I'm not in the poison, everything should be fine. I've got some strong guys on this team too. Like we're already doing 1k DPS in our mid 60s. Oh, with your boomy build, yeah, I guess I should expect that. But still, when you're not the DPS, you don't care what your DPS are doing. You just want them to do big DPS. So I'll take it. Okay, another really big pull. I really like this. It's exactly what I thought. Okay, so basically, I set up the invocation on mega pulls, and then my mana just starts going up like crazy. Theoretically, right now, I don't know what the percentages. Oh, I do. It's, I actually do. Lol. So I'm taking like 80 to 90% reduced damage right now. 
Uh, if you're a healer, like, this is a dream tank, I feel like. All right, let's just mega pull this. This is scary. This is scary. I'm actually going to invocation to start before they start pushing me. It's possible they can't push me. Wow, I don't think they could push me. Normally they push. Maybe they didn't get their spell off or maybe I actually have immunity to it and didn't realize. But as you can see, like this build actually slaps and Power Surge, that talent we talked about in the beginning of the video, of all things, is actually first place DPS for me right now. I do a lot more casting than I thought and actually impeccable timing is not so bad. It's not so bad at all in my opinion. Oh, we're actually for once losing mana. We're actually for once. See here, I have it right here. Boom, Missile Barrage. And I can just chain that straight to an Arcane Missile. And assuming that I did that properly, because I didn't, if I had done it on a guy with Moonfire, it would have been a million times better. So we could do something like this. And you could see the Mega Moonfire. Come on, buddy, you got me! You got me, Invocation! <laughs> yes, because you know when you press Invocation, you're not going to die. I'm going to tell them I'm going to pull these guys back here. It's the best way to do it, right? You just get all these casters. Like, it doesn't reset. Some people think it resets. Maybe in base WoW or another, you know, private server or something somewhere, it does reset. But on Ascension, it doesn't. Can we get that? Yes, we got the Impeccable Timing Missile Barrage. Boom, 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 boom. And then a pow at the end. I don't always get the Lunar Spirits. What's the requirement? What am I missing? In addition, 10% chance on Moonfire Tick to grant a buff. Gotcha. Okay. So you don't always get the extra arcane uh, explosion damage. I don't need to run away from this. It's pointless. Watch. See? I didn't take any damage. Okay. Like, just... Uh, what's the point? Like, this is so good. Oh, let's get that uh, impeccable timing. Boom. You can see I have the weak R's. It makes it really easy to track. If you're just looking on the top right the whole time, though, it's not going to be fun. Nice. Okay. Level 66 off that. By the way, that is our prestige daily done, which is the biggest part of this. I'll take it, GG, guys. Let's see if Ring of Blood works. Wow, guys. I'm actually level 70, and I didn't know if I'd get anything from my free rerolls, but I did. I got Void Walkers so far. So, yeah, I'm going to take that over the water walking. Remember, Void Walkers, 10% reduced damage taken. It's physical, but it's still pretty solid, I would say. So, there you go. 10% reduced physical damage taken with Master Demonologist. That's so good guys as if it couldn't get better starfall what it's an aoe arcane spell and i'm a tank that wants aoe arcane spells it's also automatic so i click it once and it just does its thing for eight seconds yes please yes i'll take it over the wrath good old wrath man you helped me 1 to 15 and today you still help me because you're gonna help me actually obtain starfall thank you boom guys holy crap this might actually be worthy of a second video because it could be really really fun all right guys i'm queuing up for a mythic and i think that's going to be a really good showcase of the build i do want to point this out i really really wanted to try this type of tank because i knew i had gotten an alembic of infernal power while i was dpsing it wasn't good enough for a dps trinket it's certainly amazing though for this 42 intellect which is a lot more mana and a one percent chance to get 270 73 mana on a one second cooldown after taking damage which of course i'm going to be doing it's made for me made for me and we're going to be using it today so i'll put this build in my discord again like i've never tried to tinker with something like this before uh, outside of what i've already shown you i went into a lot of cleric casting effects arcane concentration 15 percent chance for my next spell to cost no mana and in the restoration tree omen of clarity other than that though it's just intellect stacking if i'm honest and then of course master demonology as well so i don't know it's interesting okay so we're in steam vault which is a great dungeon to be doing this in because we don't get into a lot of steam vaults i'm just gonna pull these guys as well let's go for the invocation i don't want to overdo it oh this this is actually going just like my 60 to 69 dungeons let's actually pop the starfall why am i losing aggro am i actually losing aggro how am i losing aggro isn't that not supposed to be a thing anymore okay so that's a little concerning that i lost aggro not only did it mentally throw me off but it really concerns me overall it could be that you know some people are just so geared and doing so much dps right now that i'm in a little bit of a disadvantage compared to if i had more tank gear specifically wow that thing like straight up isn't on me and i could not put it back on me for the life of me oh no guys we might have to really try harder to perfect this it might deserve by lieu of that alone in episode two okay so far it's fine but like every time i lose aggro i, I just really want to face palm and leave the dungeon out of just shame just to be honest with you like immediately i lost it again how are they using something with aggro maybe it's not my fault it probably is i guess we'll figure it out okay okay so far so good so far so good invocation all right dragon's breath Oh, okay, I thought that was gonna actually do something of value right there. But those guys are seemingly immune. Oh, God. Oh, God! Okay, I'm trying to auto-attack. I also have evasion up. Invocation. Starfall. Bloodlust. This is for my DPS. This is for my DPS. Come on, guys. You got this. I'm actually, like, keeping my mana up, believe it or not. 
Like, I know the tank, the healer, rather, is, like, all so sad. <laughs> this is going horrible for him. Oh, nice big heal. That 8.4k crit coming through. Let's just invocate to make his day good at the end of the pool. Wow. Good job, boys. We really work together there. I'm just going to keep up the pace, right? Like, these guys, I, I'm holding aggro better now. I think maybe I had too many bad habits from leveling, or I just simply wasn't DPSing as much, uh, wasn't being as consistent with it, of course, as much, simply because I did not need to to hold threat. But with that in mind, with me paying more attention to it, actually trying to do the most damage I could do with every pull, seemingly, this is okay. Yeah, this is so easy, actually. I'm so much happier now that I realize that the only thing I was doing wrong at the beginning was I wasn't fully DPSing the way I should. Yeah, now that I've got my, uh, you know, you could say rotation, it's not really a rotation. We know how that works, but kind of like my rotation down pack. I think we're fine. All right, so I don't want to start this till everybody runs in. Let me get some aggro. There we go. Wait, wait, impeccable timing. There we go. Pop the starfall. And the only reason I'm going to pop it now is because it's only a one and a half minute cooldown. Depending on how quickly we DPS this stuff, I might be able to get it off again. I just don't really feel pressured to save AoE when I have Arcane Explosion as my main way to AoE. <laughs> it's just that good. I'm just running around and just... <laughs> freaking arcane explosioning this is it guys don't die this is literally the, the last part all right now we just have to finish her off we're done it's okay guys you can breathe we made it we actually made it boom good job what do we get Ooh, something i could potentially use a real dps needs it i'm not gonna take it guys this is really really good oh god invocation evasion was actually like super pog too by the way like just having that ability to dodge sometimes is big I'm going to TP on that sorcerer. Nice. Look at that. Don't tell me that's not good. Like, it's so useful. And the auto attack from it actually gives me mana just by default the way that this worked. A lot of it actually with Eldritch Knight and Seal of Wisdom. So you could see how Water Shield would have been nice. That was definitely a blunder, but we're still fine. Starfall, so pog as well. Like, I didn't even keep rolling because I was like, is there anything actually that I want? I don't think so. I actually think I got everything. By the way, Starfall is working with the invocation. That's like such awesome synergy. This is going so good. Oh, it's so fun, too. Like, this might be the most fun tank I've played in all of BC. Easy. Literally easy. Like, the bear tanks were fine, but compared to this... Yeah, this one's harder. Don't get me wrong. Like, I can see the skill cap with this one. I'm not perfect on it, but I can see how this one just, like, feels like it's more difficult than your average tank build. Uh, it's still so worth it. it. I think it's more difficult only because if you're used to playing normal tank builds, this is not going to make sense. You have to actually, like, think, oh, my God. This place completely different. How do I do this? What's going on? Why am I not blocking or dodging or parrying anything? Where's my health gain? You don't have it. You're playing with your mana the entire time. All these people are dead, dude. All these people are super dead. Dragon's Breath was great. Nice, we did it. We did it. I actually have Demoralizing Shout as well. That was a big pickup and Purge. All right, there we go. Starfall Invocation. Holy crap. Oh my God. No, 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 no. The hell? Stay on me. Stay on me. Okay, I actually need to go for, like, the whole moon fire. There we go. We got a proc. Boom, 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 boom. It died, but we got some of it off. There's an impeccable timing. There we go. Another boom, boom, boom. Into the invocation. This is it. This is where we end it all off. I'm going to get, like, some lunar spirit procs I just did. I'm, I, I think I pull this next one, too. I think we just impeccable timing it. And boom, boom, boom again. And we TP in. Bam. We just start procking these. This is so good! This is so good. Okay, we're not done though. We're not done. We have to actually survive this. Just keep moving. Spread out my damage as much as I can so I don't lose any aggro. There's another impeccable timing and they're so easy now. Like you get used to it. You get used to it and it actually works so well for this build. I, I wouldn't change any of the epic enchants we initially theory crafted. Like I can't believe how perfect this is. I am losing tank aggro. I, maybe, maybe I... I'm a little too lax right now on my rotation. I love having no melee. No offense, because, like, I'm a melee main in many ways, but, like, having no melee is so good. And, by the way, one DPS DC'd. I didn't even realize that. That says so much. Like, Babu is carrying, or Gabu, sorry. I have bad eyes. He's carrying so well in DPS. And this guy loads back in right as we kill the boss. You lucky. I'm actually going to go for this. It's plate, intellect, stamina stuff, and it actually gives MP5. I think that's really good and made for me. I got it. What does it look like? Yes, it matches. It matches. Guys, I can get rid of my goggles. Don't get me wrong. I don't often want to get rid of my goggles, but this is one of those times where it just makes sense. There we go. 
we actually match. All right, guys, I want to get this video out today. So let's go ahead and do the giveaway. And I'm going to do a few super chat readouts from a few videos ago. And then I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. So yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, YouTube comment picker. We got the wacky wizardry video. Let's see. Now, this video actually bugged when it first went live. Unfortunately, a lot of YouTube content creators experienced it. It was a YouTube problem and uh, it had some mistakes to where it didn't reach as many people, unfortunately. So honestly, the guy that wins this is really lucky. Um, So let's see. Pick a winner, guys. Real Rosox, thank you for bringing me and my friends back to a better wow with a heart emoji from Swezer. Dude, you're welcome. Let's go ahead and send you your prize. Man, last time I was on this character, I was at the end of that giveaway giving people free stuff. Oh, not free, I guess. It was a prize for winning. Uh, but yeah, we're here. And the Reborn Supporters Chest is about to go out to Swezer. Now, I still have, let's see, after this one, five more of these. But after that, I'm going to give out ten more Reborn Supporters Chests. So we have so many giveaways, guys. You basically don't even have to worry about it. You can basically figure for like the next two months, you can leave your uh, username in the comment section. And you have a high chance of getting something. Wow, people are sending more stuff to give away. Lee crap. They're, this is actually mine right here the necromancer stuff though okay let's go ahead and do this swezer there you go man hope you enjoy your prize buddy you're especially lucky for this one love big doubles there you go buddy gg okay i had two super chats from like a few days ago on some older videos so i do want to go ahead and read those out slammer bit says he wants to see more lightning tank which you know what we might actually do something like that i've been wanting to make a uh, i don't know maybe we could do a thunder slam tank and be thor but we could also do storm hammer and be thor so there's so many different options and then he also says it was really interesting to see the uh well the new kind of tank that i played what did i play in that video he says i wonder if you could do something similar with mana forge shield let me see what did i actually play the video was called the most enjoyable tank build what is up guys my doubles back again and today we're gonna be checking out a spell power based intellect prot pally pious strikes oh yeah guys this was a uh this was some kind of pally build and this is yeah this could definitely work with mana forge i was actually thinking of doing this with hammer of the righteous uh because it does holy damage it's you don't have to do the whole holy nova proc and then the ap scaling and maybe you do but we could try it i don't know it's interesting but yeah man thank you so much uh for the super chats i appreciate it and guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and a subscribe. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Big doubles out.